basic bread for basic folks. Don't be ashamed. This one is pretty forgiving. Uh, I'll have the recipe linked in the description. I've been doing this for the last few weeks. I like to get more complicated with bread sometimes, but I, I gotta come back to this one when it's like I don't have all the ingredients I can get and you just gotta, you gotta work with what you got. Let's do it. Gonna jump into some voiceover because this was originally 40 minutes long and I don't wanna do that to you this early in our relationship. So that being said, let's get our ingredients together. I'll just throw up some text on here. You'll need one package or a quarter ounce of active dry yeast, which I believe is roughly a tablespoon, two and a quarter cups warm water between 99 to 110 degrees, no hotter or else you will kill your yeast, three tablespoons of sugar plus a half a teaspoon for the yeast water mix, one tablespoon salt, two tablespoons canola oil, six and a quarter cups of bread flour, uh, but I use all-purpose here because that's what I had on hand. And then the optional, uh, I end up throwing in a quarter cup of honey as well just to kind of add a little extra flavor. Once the ingredients are laid out, I start by waking up the yeast and I'll mix that with the warm water and the half a teaspoon of sugar, which I think I forgot here until later. Next, I whisk together the remaining dry ingredients, flour, salt, and sugar. The recipe calls for granulated sugar. Uh, I prefer brown, uh, with the downside being that I need to smush out the clumps. Uh, but hey, that's my journey. And you know what? Dare to be different. It's your bread, so you can do what you want. Now, you can mix everything by hand. The stand mixer is more of a convenience, uh, but if you have one available, it doesn't hurt. In the mixing bowl, I add the yeast water mixture, oil, honey and three cups of flour to start. From there, I'll add about a half a cup of flour at a time until everything's in there. I let this mix for a few minutes while scraping the sides until it all comes together in a ball. Next, I turn it out onto a floured surface and knead for about eight to 10 minutes. And this is a basic just fold and turn, just kind of kneading technique, nothing really fancy, but yeah, just kind of fold it over, get your palms in there, give the old puppy a turn and rinse and repeat. This is also a good time to get to know your dough. Uh, if it's too wet or too dry, you can still make some small adjustments as needed. So cherish this time with your tiny, tiny dough ball baby. Then I place it into a greased bowl with some greased plastic and let it proof for about one and a half to two hours until it is doubled in size. After the first proof, gently deflate it and roll it out onto a floured surface, dividing it in half with a trusty old bench scraper, which if you don't have, you should definitely get super handy tool around the kitchen, not just for bacon. Shape each half into a loaf and then place them into their own 9x5 greased loaf pans and let them proof for another uh, one to one and a half hours. As you can see, one of my loaves did not turn out great, but you know what, we push forward. Whenever you're cooking or baking, I think mistakes happen, uh, but I, I think it's rare when you really mess something up so bad you gotta throw it out. So I've, I've never thrown out a loaf of bread. Um, it's never been beyond edibility. Edibility, is that a word? But you know, hey, are they always beautiful loaves? No, but you know what, still good. And uh, I eat them, yep, gotta be. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees and then place your loaves into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes until it reaches an internal temperature of 200 degrees. And then you'll notice you get this nice golden brown and we'll do that temp check. These loaves are good to go. Cutting into the bread right when it comes out of the oven is the most tempting thing, but you must resist and let them rest on a wire rack for at least an hour. And there you go. Now you have some homemade bread to feed you and your loved ones. And there you have it, bread. Beautiful, amazing bread. Uh, you know, it took some doing. We had some bumps along the road, but we made it to the end and now we got two loaves of bread. So some cooking notes. This one, it is a little softer, I think probably with the additional honey. And it's actually the honey flavor does come through a lot. So that third or half cup of honey I put in is great as toast with Meyer lemon marmalade. Link up, no, I'm just kidding. Let's give that a try. Oh yeah, 
Crunch is great. Honey mixing with that Meyer lemon. Marm, fantastic. Oh, it's great. It really is good. So see, even when you think you make a bad loaf, it's probably not that bad. So go give it a try for yourself. That's it. Wow.